right. There's Benavides. That's that's my guy. Benavides. Benavides is my guy. I think he could beat everybody in the division. So you think if Benavides faces Canelo, Canelo would be in trouble? I, I love Canelo. He's not going to beat him. He's a little bit past his prime. He, I think he's going to beat the. He could beat the guy to beat um, Canelo. Mike Tyson believes the Mexican monster, as he call him, David Benavides, is the best at 168, and he'll beat everybody at 168, including Canelo who he believes is on the downside of his career. And not only that, he also threw in Dimitri Bivol. He believes the Mexican monster will handle Dimitri Bivol. Mike Tyson loves him some Mexican monster and he's drinking the Kool-Aid. He's drinking all the Kool-Aid. So basically what Iron Mike is saying is that Canelo knows he's not at his best anymore and he knows he's gonna lose if he fights David Benavides, and that's why the fight's not happening. But he also said that David Benavides beats everybody at 168, and he might be right, but we haven't seen it. The only notable victory he has is against Caleb Plant, and I can remember when Canelo beat Caleb Plant, he was a paper champion. Now, would David Benavides beat Caleb Plant, He's the best thing since sliced bread. I like David Benavides as well. Not as much as Mike Tyson, but I always go by the body of work. And so far, his body of work is not that impressive, but except for the Caleb Plant victory. Or are we judging by the eye test? Because from the eye test, David Benavides looks like he has the goods. But we also did an eye test with Jerron Ennis. You know, some people thought Jerron Ennis was the next Sugar Ray Leonard, next Roy Jones Jr. But when he got in there with an awkward opponent, he didn't look so good. And now everybody having a change of heart. Currently, David Benavides is in the middle of a three fight deal. Hopefully it's Morrell next, great fight. Even though Morrell has eight fights, I give Benavides credit if he can destroy David Morrell. And then Canelo has Ryder this Saturday. And then he's supposed to fight Bivol in September. So I'm hoping these two guys could hook up for next single to mile. David Benavides versus Canelo Alvarez, which will be a huge fight, bigger than Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis without all the social media stuff. Then hopefully at that moment, we'll find out who is the best at 168. As far as my prediction on a Canelo versus Ryder fight, I think people are underrating Ryder. I think Ryder is an underrated fighter. I think he'll give Canelo problems early, but I think by the mid rounds, Canelo Alvarez's body attack will take his toll and he'll take Ryder out in eight rounds. I'm gonna say Canelo, eighth round, TKO stoppage. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.